let's convert 60.5 feet into meters. And we'll do this using a method I call the fence post method, so called because I am going to draw what looks perhaps like a fence. And so the way you do this is you start in the upper left hand corner of the fence with the quantity to be converted. So we have 60.5 feet that we're going to convert. So I'll write 60.5 feet and I'll abbreviate feet FT. And we're going to be treating this unit as if it were a variable. So what I need to do now in order to cancel out feet on my way to getting meters is I need to put feet down here and in this portion of the fence what I'm looking for is a fraction that's both equal to 1 and that also has units that will cancel in the numerator uh, with the can units in the denominator that will cancel with these units in the numerator. So the way to do that now is to use the conversion factor that I've either been given or looked up and so I can write now 3.280 feet is equal to 1 meter and these indeed are the units that are going to cancel so I'll just write them being canceled out and when I've canceled everything that I can cancel and I'm left with the unit to which I am converting meters I'm done writing fence posts and I can just go ahead and multiply across through the numerator so 60.5 times 1 is 60.5 and I have units meters that are not canceled and all I have in the denominator is 3.280 and I will not write feet because it's been canceled out and I'm now ready to do this arithmetic. So I'll go ahead and write 60.5 divided by 3.28 don't need to type in the zero enter and I'll get 18 I'll write equals 18.445 I'll carry three digits just so I can use them in later calculations. And that is, once again, the fence method for converting units.